anything. Well, if it isn't Mark Twain. <laughs> was a bordello called Lula Bells here in Hannibal, Missouri. We're starting our tour right here. We crossed the Mississippi and we're staying the night here in Hannibal, Missouri, the home of Mark Twain and the famous Lula Bell. It is now a restaurant which we just came out of having dinner, very nice dinner here. But it historically was a bordello and the history is quite colorful. Do you have anything more to say about it? <laughs> <laughs> like the madam herself, the girls were reputed to have been highly respected citizens, purchasing quality goods, paying their bills on time, and using discretion with their clientele. And still, they drove them out of business. Yeah, wasn't that a shame? We were told that a, a consortium of 10 pastors mounted uh, a posse. <laughs> <laughs> and they had very destructive effect on the business. Yeah, that put it out. Um, We're a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're down here in Hannibal uh, again, and uh, this is the home of uh, Mark Twain, the boyhood home of Mark Twain. Samuel Clements, the name he had uh, when he lived here. And. Uh, these are the grounds. And right across the street from the house here is Jim Clemens, Justice of the Peace. That was his father's law office here in Hannibal. Right across the street from the house. See the riverboat docking here at the, at the shore of Lake uh, the uh, Mississippi. Well, we have arrived in St. Louis, Missouri, and uh, we made a little extra trip here to uh, come down to the Scott Joplin State Historic Site. This is actually the actual home of Scott Joplin when he moved here to St. Louis in, uh, we believe, around 1902. Oh, I'm going to check on that because it was very early in the century, and uh, started to publish music here in St. Louis. Uh, th this is the residence. Uh, we're going to go on a tour and there's going to be a special affair today uh, to commemorate Scott Joplin. Uh, we're on Del Mar Street in uh, St. Louis and at the uh, Joplin historic site. And on the corner here sets the Rosebud Cafe, or the Rosebud Saloon as it was called in uh, 1901. And uh, they are restoring this to a historic site. This is where ragtime was played well before it became popular, uh, before Joplin published the Maple Leaf Rag. Uh, it was being performed here, and it was a popular place mostly. Oh, okay. Okay. Since you're up here, I'm going to let him be the king of the face stand because uh, he needs to be the king of the face stand. That means I can walk away. No. Yeah. You, you may not walk away, you have to come right here, stand right here, right there. Okay. Now, right here, you have to stand and you have to do this. <laughs> 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 Maybe you want to be on the other side. I'm just not sure. <laughs> ah, it has to be right there. So glad you've come with us. <laughs> We've been kind of bored with just ourselves and each other for company. It's good to have some some real friends of ragtime. Oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> that guy has a very high-powered motorcycle. I wish him great luck because he's wearing shorts, bare legs. 
maybe he has never taken a spill. <laughs> it's just amazing how foolish people are. Yeah, I just can't believe it. Can't listen to old Gabby Hayes. <laughs> Just a <laughs> We're inside the Hotel Bothwell, and I'm going into the bar here. And look who's having a scotch yeah, on the rocks. Come on in. It's nice of you to be here. Hey, Gabby. This is a great... <laughs> you stop with the Gabby. <laughs> this is a nice place. Friendly people, friendly bartender. Let's see yeah. your tab. As long as you don't try to stiff her with. <laughs> that must be a pretty strong drink you got there. It is. It's. Uh, let me see when you this came out. Looks like Walmart special. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty tiny print by this time of night. I don't know when. Before I stopped. <laughs> well, it's it's doing a good job there. It is. It's, we are in Sedalia again here. This is at Katy Depot at the Missouri, Kansas and Texas Missouri Pacific Rail Depot. It's been restored uh, and uh, it is now a party house. And this is the donors party for the Scott Joplin Festival. We're going to go in here and meet some people. This is the annual donors party for those who contribute money to the, uh, the Scott Joplin Ragtime Festival. This is a Thursday. 